Hi YouTube, this is Phil20 again. Uh, there's a lot of content that I want to bring to uh, the uh, channel, Guns, Games, and Racing. There's a lot of content that uh, doesn't apply to the channel name that I want to bring in. Um, but I'm going to bring it anyways uh, in, the, in the future if it's uh, about air conditioning or heating. Uh, you know, that's just some of the stuff that I do. Uh, you know, I do a lot of communication. I also like to do uh, very difficult tasks with uh, troubleshooting with uh, communication work. Uh, and also troubleshooting mechanical issues with, uh, you know, various applications. Um, so, I'm going to start a uh, basic learning experience for people that's interested on heating and air conditioning. And that way they can get uh, a quick understanding of what I have done for, you know, my career. And that way they can get an understanding of how I've learned what I know and, you know, maybe even how I ended up with the stuff that I ended up with in the garage. You know, just a few things I ended up with, you know, accumulated over a period of time. And you know, I enjoyed it, you know. Heating and air conditioning has taught me a lot. It's taught me a lot about mechanical and it's taught me a lot about electrical. Um, the most important thing that I think I've learned out of air conditioning is electrical. Uh, I love it. Electricity is great. It's dangerous. You can get electrocuted and die. I mean, I've nearly been killed by electricity. And after that, I've learned to respect it. But uh, what I want to do is, uh, you know, get, get people on the understanding of the mechanical side of uh, air conditioning and heat pumps. Um, the electrical side, I'll, I'll do as well. Uh, but it's just something I want to get done and uh, it's some videos that I can do for you know the people that are currently here if they're interested in at all in electricity and troubleshooting equipment uh, I mean I've got a heat pump that uh, it works great there's nothing wrong with it uh, it's a little bit different than your standard heat pump and uh, but I can explain it just the way you would expect for a standard heat pump um, so I'm going to start bringing in more content for different things um, in the future because right now I'm at a standstill for the solar and I don't really have nothing that I need to do with any of my solar. So what I want to do is put out more videos with content that is usable for everyone, um, not just uh, you know, prepping and uh, energy. Uh, I'm all, always trying to save a little bit of energy. Um, I will do a little bit of solar information on how you would set up a heat pump with a solar system, which is very difficult to do if you're not careful. Uh, I could, I can run that heat pump off of that inverter, but I wouldn't be able to run the electric heater strips. So what I would do is I would disconnect electric heater strips uh, from the, uh, I'd make two circuits, one for the heater strips and then one for uh, um, the fan and the control system. The control system and the fan is not going to use no more than three or you know, maybe seven or eight hundred watts at maximum. Uh, I don't know, I have to look at how many watts the, my specific application would use. But the outdoor unit would probably use about 3,000 watts and we'll probably have a surge of 15,000 watts. But that, that inverter I got should be able to handle starting it and running it, but we wouldn't be able to use electric heaters. So that's a problem in the wintertime. You have to have supplemental heat. You cannot run a heat pump without supplemental heat. Uh, at least in this area, I mean, because it'll go through defrost. You so have to have it to go. This is just something I figure you guys might be interested in. If if you don't, uh, if you don't like it, give it thumbs down. But if if you do like it, thumbs up. And uh, there'll be a lot more content coming for heat pumps and troubleshooting heat pumps, and uh, maybe even some uh, fire alarm equipment uh, that you guys might be interested in. Uh, you know, just just be able to enjoy some good content so this is Philip 20 letting you guys know what I plan on setting up in the near future for this channel so this is 
Philip 20 with Guns, Games, and Racing, and you have a great day.